As we all follow the ups and downs of COVID-19 cases across the globe, many people are curious about the promise of various vaccines. Who should get vaccinated? And if everyone else is planning to get one, do you need to be vaccinated too? Is it really safe enough that you should? The first set of coronavirus vaccines that were distributed are mRNA vaccines. These hold small bits of genetic material made in the lab that have instructions for how to make spike proteins. These proteins are found on the surface of the new coronavirus. The instructions are taken up by your cells and used to make spike proteins. Your immune system then gets to practice identifying and fighting those types of proteins. This practice prepares your body to quickly attack and conquer the virus that causes COVID-19 if you encounter it in the future. There are also other types of coronavirus vaccines that use older vaccine technology. They introduce parts of the virus to train the immune system. How do we know vaccines are safe? Though the testing process of COVID-19 vaccines was fast, it was still very thorough. The vaccines were tested in many experiments on cells, animals, and tens of thousands of people to ensure they're both safe and effective. In the U.S., over 55 million people have been vaccinated so far. Very few people have had an allergic response, and no one has died from the mRNA vaccines. Though all vaccines carry some risk, for FDA-approved vaccines, the risk is extremely small. The health risk from catching COVID-19 is much higher than the health risk of the vaccines. And getting vaccinated can help you, your family, and your community. The current mRNA vaccines are between about 90 and 95% effective in preventing serious illness from COVID-19. After people receive the vaccine, some experience symptoms. The most common symptom is feeling pain where the vaccine was given in the upper arm. Other symptoms include fatigue and headache and chills and fever. These symptoms are normal and should go away after a few days. The symptoms are a good sign that your body's immune response is gearing up against either the mRNA or parts of the virus found in the vaccine. This means your body is learning about the virus, which is exactly what a vaccine is designed to help it do. So who should be vaccinated? The studies of the COVID-19 vaccines that have been completed to date have focused mainly on portions of the public as young as ages 16 and 18, and up to ages 55 through 85, who are generally healthy and not pregnant. Follow-up studies are also testing younger people, pregnant people, and people who have weakened immune systems. So far, no negative effects have been seen in any of these groups. Additionally, the major vaccine trials that test children under the age of 16 or 18 are still ongoing, which is why approval for children to receive a vaccine hasn't happened quite yet. The other people who shouldn't get the mRNA vaccines are people who have a severe allergy to another mRNA vaccine or mRNA vaccine ingredients. But people can safely get the COVID mRNA vaccines who have mild or severe allergies to other vaccines, medications, or foods. They'll just be observed by a medical professional for 30 minutes to make sure they don't react to the vaccines. Additionally, people allergic to the mRNA vaccines could still get other types of COVID vaccines. By late 2020, between 50 and 68% of Americans were interested in getting a COVID-19 vaccine. If 50 or up to 68% of people in your country get vaccinated, do you really need to be vaccinated too? Won't herd immunity protect you? Herd immunity is when a large enough percentage of the population is protected against catching a disease that it causes the exponential spread of the disease to stop. This makes it much less likely that people will catch the disease. For many diseases that spread easily through the air, a large portion of the population needs to be vaccinated or have recovered for herd immunity to work. Though it's too early to know for sure what the percentage would be for herd immunity against COVID-19, experts estimate that it's above 70% of the population. Only then could we reduce the chance of infection for those who can't be vaccinated. This means that everyone who can get vaccinated against COVID-19 should, to try to slow and stop the pandemic. Waiting for herd immunity without the help of vaccination could take years, if it ever happened. In the first year of the COVID-19 outbreak, less than 1% of the world's population was confirmed to have had COVID, and roughly 2 million people died during that part of the process. How long would it take, and how many people would have to die before 70% of the population was immune? Vaccines are the only way to reach any type of herd immunity quickly, and they're our best bet right now to save lives, including your loved ones and those in your community. If you still have concerns about being vaccinated, reach out to your doctor or nurse. If you want to learn about vaccine history, safety, and production, read our story, Vaccine Science. 
And if you want to run some virtual experiments to see how vaccines can help slow or stop a pandemic, check out our COVID simulator.